this is Red Clay Studio. It's a personal studio for the artist Ibrahim Mahama. That was the initial idea. But you know, the thought came in into expanding the space. So when you come, it's not just his personal studio, but it functions in different forms. We have a space for education, a space for culture, a space for research, agriculture, and so on. And these are his artworks. So in this space, you'll find uh, most of his artworks. He's also thinking of building a permanent collection where you don't have to you know, travel all this distance to see his work, but have permanent works here that years to come will still you know, have them for other generations to come and see. And these are medical stretches. And they are the models of the medical stretches that were used in the Second World War. And what informed this artwork was his visit to Greece, where he was introduced to the medical stretches that were used in the Second World War. But he was also collecting these materials from mechanics, uh, fishmongers, traders. And on his return, he decided to do this artwork based on what he found in Greece with the materials he was collecting from these people. You know, the stretchers were used to carry these soldiers who got hurt, some died in the process. So definitely there will be these traces of blood stains on those stretchers he found in Greece. But when you come here, instead of identifying blood stains, you rather have crude oil from the mechanic shop, um, the oil sipping out of the fish while the fishmonger was smoking the fish, and the various commodities that these traders were into. Um, in a way, when you look at you know, the stretchers he found in Greece, you speak of a certain mood, a certain situation around the Second World War, the pain, the struggle that these people went through, you know, and you come in here too, it has the same idea, but it takes a different approach. So it speaks to the various people who were using these materials, how dedicated these people are to their work, how difficult the work of the mechanic is, how long these people have used the material. So there's this element of blood, sweat and tears you find in the artwork and um, talking of labor, commodity, sustainability and history too as well. Welcome to my school.